in this video. I finish up this little fur pelty thing and all the wet blending I want to do on this cloak. All right, I base coated the fur pelt and the cape with the darkest respective brown and green that I'm gonna use. And we're gonna wet blend here this uh, fur thing using this set of browns and a retarder medium. So I kind of, there's this bottom part that goes down farther in the back. So that's gonna be the uh, darkest brown. And then I'm going to use my mid-tone around, I don't know, most of the pelt and then my lightest tone around at the very top. And I'm gonna try to wet blend all the transitions together. So there is the darkest. And then now here is the mid-tone and I apologize for new camera. I'm trying out some new stuff. So I correct every once in a while. So there's the mid-tone and I'm getting that all the way around. And then we're gonna switch to the uh, highest hue brown and hit this like raised ridgy part here in the middle. And we're gonna try to wet blend all those transitions. All right, we're gonna do the same treatment on the cloak where I have my dark green, my mid-tone green, and my highlight green, and I'm going to be wet blending these. So mostly the mid-tone, and then in the recesses, we're gonna paint the dark tone, and on the ridges and upper areas, we're gonna do the highlight, and I'm gonna leave all this in here um, as usual when I am wet blending, just so you can see the process if you would like. On the underside here, I am also going to try to wet blend some black into this darkest area down here at the bottom. All right, back to the pelt. So I'm gonna dry brush a warm off white onto this highest hue brown here. 
and then I'm going to go get the highest hue brown and dry brush that over the midtone. Then I'm going to grab the midtone and a dry brush that over the darkest brown on the bottom. So I started with the lightest color, this warm off white, and then worked my way down to the midtone brown and dry brushed a little bit over the transitional area also to catch all of the detail this nice detail on this fur pelt and then i'm gonna go ahead and hit all of that with a brown wash i like to use agrax or shade All right, so that first round of wet blending on the cloak has now dried and I decided to go in and do a second run. And this time I'm gonna be working more from the mid-tone and then down into the shade color and up into the highlight color. And I just wanted it to be a little smoother, a little more opaque. And uh, the camera work on this one was even worse. So I tried to do a little bit of editing to make it so most of the time you could actually watch the wet blending. Uh, and I left it all in there so you can see the whole process.
All right, I am feeling pretty good about that. This is supposed to be a speed paid, so I think I'm just gonna let it go. And uh, I asked my son and he's happy with it. So if he's happy with it, I'm happy with it. And uh, it was a lot of fun. So there's the cloak, there's the pelt. Happy with how it came out. And uh, there is Iron Skulls. All right, and here are the Iron Skulls boys all complete. And uh, basically, if I, if I squeezed all those shorter sessions together, it would have been one really long session. And uh, I think my speed painting has improved. I've kind of tightened it up, tightened up the palette, and uh, spent a little more time making sure the things that I'm doing are clean and sharp. And I'm really happy with how these guys came out. Hope you guys enjoyed it.